3D printers, those machines that can fabricate complex three-dimensional objects layer by layer, are an up-and-coming technology. They're being used to produce everything from product prototypes for companies, to jewelry, to food. Now, an international team of researchers, led by Leroy Cronin at Scotland's University of Glasgow, have found a new use for 3D printers. They're using the machines to manufacture specialized reaction chambers for chemical synthesis. To do this, they plan the structure of their desired chemical reaction vessel with computer-assisted design software. Then they load the blueprint into the 3D printer, which builds the object layer by layer. Cronin and his team constructed their own 3D printer, which uses syringes to extrude materials during fabrication. The researchers manufacture their chemical reactors with a fast-curing acetoxy silicone. At pre-programmed intervals during the printing, the scientists also add components, such as a glass window for monitoring reactions, or electrodes for doing electrochemistry. To demonstrate the capabilities of such 3D printed reaction vessels, the scientists have run a number of demonstration reactions. In one demo, they synthesized a brand new inorganic nanocluster compound from building blocks injected into the reactor. During the synthesis, the researchers watched the product crystallize through a viewing window. In another demo, Cronin and co-workers made the reactor part of the reaction by printing electrodes into it. These electrodes, made of a conductive carbon black paste, enabled the reactor to perform electrochemistry. One line of black paste served as the working electrode, while the other served as the reference and counter electrode. Using the printed electrodes, the researchers reduced phosphomolybdic acid inside the reactor. As the compound was reduced, it turned blue, as seen through a viewing window. Cronin and his group believe that this relatively cheap, automated, and customizable 3D printing method will make it possible for synthetic laboratories and small companies to access chemical engineering tools typically employed only in large-scale industrial settings.